What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I wanted to introduce a new series to the channel where I take two minutes to share an idea, a tip, a product, pretty much anything that I think we could all use to improve our golf game. For now, I'm gonna call it Two Minute Tuesday, but we know that that's boring and pretty much everyone else uses it. I wanna come up with a creative name and that is where you come in. I wanna know what do you guys think I should name this series? Let me know your ideas down in the comments. If I end up using your suggestion, I will give you guys a shout out in the next Two Minute Tuesday video. Plus, I'll send you a free Seeking Birdies t-shirt. Today we are talking about the 18 Birdies app. Now this app is loaded with a ton of features and I could probably make an hour long video talking about them all, but I have two minutes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started in the app, plus the one feature you need to be using to lower your scores. As always, make sure you push that subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Also, push that thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, let's do this, two minutes on the clock, go. From the home screen, we will click the play button down at the bottom. It gives us three options. We are not playing in a tournament or posting a previous scorecard for our handicap, so we will select the first option, start a round. We will need to select a course. It automatically shows us the three nearest courses to our location. I'm gonna use Mill Creek for this example. We will then select the tees. Let's go with the blue tees. You can add other players in your group to keep your scores. And finally, you can set personal goals or targets for the round. It automatically takes you to the first hole. Let's quickly go over the information on the screen. Some of this is only available to premium members, so if you are still on the free plan, make sure you upgrade, you won't regret it. So starting at the top of the screen, you will see that we are on hole number one, par four, 363 yards to the center of the green. It has the weather up here in the top right corner, and then down here, quick links to a solid shot and track shot, which allows you to use GPS to track your distances by club. The learn button here is a link to a tutorial on how to use the app. Tools allows you to make notes, take pictures, make adjustments to your settings. You can click here to view your scorecard and stats at any time, and Caddy Plus gives you a live coach for tips, detailed weather and hole insights. I will cover that more in another video. Today's feature that I wanna talk about is the Shot Planner. The Shot Planner feature is the most important to know about because it shows you the best way to play the hole based on your data. The more you use the app and features like the Shot Tracker, the more it learns about you. It allows you to see the entire hole, identify any obstacles, and with the plays like feature, gives you adjusted distances, factoring weather, slope, and makes a club suggestion. It essentially is the roadmap on how to play the hole. You can also make adjustments by using your finger to move the cursor to adjust for things like pin locations, temp range, ground and repair, etc. I use this a lot when I'm playing a course for the first time. Pull up the shot planner and now I can see the entire hole and formulate a plan on how I'm gonna play it. We all know you play better and post lower scores when you have a solid plan. When you hole out, push enter score, enter the total number of strokes, answer if you hit the fairway, green regulation, and the number of putts. It then takes you to the next hole. You then repeat this on the next hole and so on until you're done with the round. And time, stop the clock. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Ooh, two minute Tuesday. Two minute Tuesday. <laughs> So this was just a quick look at the app and I moved pretty fast. If you missed something, you still have questions, go back, rewatch the video. If you still have questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you out. Remember, there is a lot of information and a lot of data that you can track using 18 birdies. That being said, you can use it as little or as much as you want. You don't have to fill out every box to enter your score and move on to the next hole. So if you wanna go out and just use it to keep your score, great. If you wanna go keep your score, putts, uh, your greens and regulation, keep track of your fairways hit, Awesome. Sometimes I go out and I just use it for GPS. That being said, there's no right or wrong way of using the app. That's it for this video. Remember, I wanna know what you guys think I should name this series. I would love to hear you guys' ideas, so go down to the comments and let me know what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to interact with you down in the comments. I will see you all in the next video. Keep seeking birdies.